yes, yes. Welcome back to the photography vlog. It's a beautiful evening here in Zurich. Well, beautiful if you're not a photographer, because there's not a cloud in the sky. Beautiful summer weather almost. It's the late May here at the moment. But uh, if you are a photographer, however, not such great weather because clouds really add drama and composition to scene. But that is not going to hold us back tonight. I said, let's grab the camera, let's head out here anyway and make the most of it anyway. I think there's no such thing as bad weather at the end of the day and with a bit of creativity and photography skill you can still walk away with some good photos and that's exactly what I'm headed out to do. And I can't wait to take you there with me. Let's head downtown to Zurich and find out some cool photo spots right here. Let's Arrived at photo location number one and here's the situation. You got a beautiful panoramic view of the whole uh, old town of Zurich. Check this out behind me. All these beautiful quaint old buildings on either side of the river and I think that makes for a stunning shot because if you know me, you know my photography style, you know I do like to incorporate a, incorporate a bit of water in my shots and this just ticks all the boxes. You got some uh, the river right here and at the moment with it uh, approaching sunset you got these uh, buildings here on the side beautifully illum illuminated by the setting sun including the Grossminster Cathedral, which is uh, one of Zurich's main landmarks, all lit up in the background. So, composition-wise, it's kind of interesting. And, um, yeah, and then I'm using this as a foreground element as well, these old buildings here of this walkway um, along the river, which makes for some interesting leading lines just to draw you into the photo a bit more. So, that's the general composition idea of this photo, but let me talk you through the technicalities as well. So, I'm using the Sony a7R 3 today as well as the Sigma 24-70 lens which is at about uh, 40 millimeters right now and what that 40 millimeters allows me is just to um, zoom in a bit uh, get these window frames in the foreground here and then bring the cathedral just a tiny bit closer and just focus on uh, these lit up buildings back here as well and you don't want to go too wide because the more buildings you include uh, the more scattered the picture gets and the more you distract focus from the uh, main composition and the subject should be right around this area right here so that's why I wanted to zoom in a bit just to get this um, as the main subject of the shot and more interestingly uh, filters wise I've opted for a circular polarizing filter and a 10 stop ND filter and what that allows me to do is um, just bring the blue in the sky a bit darker just to balance out the scene and as well as well as uh, removing the shine of the river that's what the CPL does and then the 10 stop ND filter allowed for shutter speed of up to 30 seconds which just smoothed out this wall. So that's the technicalities for you but I bet you're interested in the final shot so without further ado here it is. shot I'd love to get your feedback in the comments below I personally just love how the 10 stop ND filter of the 30 second exposure time just completely smooths out the water and gives it that very tranquil feel well that's the first shot but why don't we hit this location number two and I hope there's a lot more good shots and memory card by the end of tonight but you can't do that without taking them so let's go make that happen further down the river and line myself up with the Frauminster Cathedral and other than that uh, the landmarks changed another one of beautiful, Zurich's most beautiful landmarks but other than that not much has changed um, still using the same setup by the way how awesome are these ledges to just pop the tabletop tripod on so much easier than unfolding out the big tripod if you're lazy like me and yeah still the same camera still the same lens still the exact same filters with one exception I've now added a medium graduated filter which you see sticking out here and the reason I chose for this is because the uh, scene is a lot more unbalanced now so the sky is a lot brighter than the foreground and the medium graduated filter which I've just lined up on the horizon just helps me to keep the sky a bit darker uh, while leaving the foreground unchanged which just balances out the scene and makes it uh, a lot easier to get a well balanced picture of it which is easier to edit and post so with that being said let's go take a look at the theme which is all about filter photography I've added yet another filter and this one's quite a lot different this is the um, Nisi Allure Streak Blue 2mm filter and what this one's good for is to catch uh, lights so if you're photographing into direct sources of light you'll get these streaks of light across the frame 
and um, this is great for cinematography but I'm going to try it with stills photography tonight and to be honest with you I've not had much luck using this filter in the past because I've used it after dark when the lanterns on um, this bridge right here were all on and illuminated and just created too many direct sources of light and the whole picture was full of streaks and it wasn't very pleasing but now with the lanterns not on yet but cars coming across the bridge with the headlamps on I'm gonna give it another try and if all goes well maybe we'll walk away with some cool shots picturing uh, headlines of cars with some streaky uh, blue st lights across the headlamps it's a cool creative effect might not be to everybody's pleasing but let's give it a try anyway streak filter in there and kind of cool huh like I said I was really skeptical at first but um, I'm pretty happy for his results I tried a few more from the other side of the bridge with the Grossminster Cathedral in the background also kind of cool if you want to see the photos here they are photos I love the effect in the end but I would recommend don't do this in the middle of the night when the lights are too bright compared to the rest of the scene. Do it in the twilight where the um, direct lights aren't too overpowering and then the effect is a little bit more subtle. So yeah, kind of a cool filter. And if you're interested in the technicalities, how it works, there's, um, you won't see it now, but there's very thin lines across the edge of the filter. And if light hits it, it actually creates that um, diffracting kind of streaky effect. But yeah. With that in mind, um, let's go see where the night takes us and take some more photos. Sun's already set, it's getting dark, which is a cool mood as well with the lights coming on and I'm sure there's a few more photos to be had. Let's go find them. So it's gotten quite a bit darker since and I noticed with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens which has a maximum aperture of f2.8, uh, the ISO was ramping quite a lot when uh, doing the high shutter speeds that I needed to uh, capture the, the cars and the people. So I want to keep up with the street photography, so I thought why not change to the 35mm f1.4 which has a much wider aperture and can gain a lot more um, light. So with these low light conditions, a wide aperture is awesome to maintain those high shutter speeds while keeping your ISO manageably low. And with that in mind, this is also my favorite lens by the way, the 35mm f1.4 by Zeiss. Beautiful lens, beautiful rendering and why not um, put this lens to good use, head up, head up Bahnhofstrasse behind me here in Zurich and maybe do some street photography while we're at it. I'm keen, are you keen? Let's go. Silent shooting feature on the A7R 3 or all the newer Sony cameras for that matter, it's insane. So cool because, especially when doing street photography, you don't want to be obnoxious and people are getting irritated by the shutter noise, but without any shutter noise at all, um, they're not any wiser that photos are being taken of them, they don't get awkward, it's very pleasant and yeah, it just makes for more candid shots I think. Definitely an awesome feature. Tonight is the ever so charming Augustina Gasse in the heart of Zurich and if you've been watching my previous vlogs I have previously described this as arguably Zurich's most beautiful street and that assessment very much holds true tonight still. It is just absolutely gorgeous especially in the darkness at night with the lanterns being on and uh, the shop windows also illuminating some of these Swiss flags hanging from the building. Absolutely stunning and also really cool for street photography because occasionally you get some people walking past and maybe you can capture a candid moment or two. I haven't been super lucky tonight, but here's my best attempt anyway. Let me know what you think. To be dead honest with you, I'm not happy with any of the street photography shots I got. But that's the beauty of street photography. 
you never know what you're going to get and you win some and you lose some. So today I thought I lost some, but on the whole I thought it was a successful evening. I walked away with some amazing shots that I'm really happy with. I'm glad that you got to join me on this journey. If you're interested in seeing more videos just like this, we explore beautiful locations all around the world, or well, currently mainly Switzerland and Zurich because of the uh, coronavirus situation, then uh, do hit that subscribe button below and I can't wait to see you in a future video. Bye for now, good evening, good night, see you soon, all the good stuff. Okay, bye.